Hey, welcome back. This is day number 18, and the prompt for this was trap. So, uh, to be honest, for this particular day, I was beginning to kind of fall behind on a lot of my little doodles for this Inktober, this little October doodle-off thing, and so, but I'd already kind of thought about what I wanted to do, and I wanted to do something along the ways of a, of, of a spider. And I'll tell you a little bit about that here in a second, but as you can see, with a lot of my other heroes and villains, I usually have like a bunch of different ideas that I sketch out until I finalize on one particular uh, design. But this one, I immediately knew what I was going into. And this one, I, I felt like I really had to just commit to it. I didn't have the time due to the fact that I was falling behind to do different variations or uh, uh, designs or layouts or anything like that. So I just kind of went headstrong into this one and just had to commit to whatever it was going to turn out to be, whether it was going to be bad or great or whatever. So to be honest, I wasn't entirely in love with this particular design but uh, and, and the way it turned out, but it was still a good one. And uh, just due to the fact that I didn't have a lot in the way of time, I, I couldn't do anything else. So, But like I said, uh, I wanted to do something uh, in, in lieu of, of a spider. And the reason I, I got this idea from the prompt trapped is, you know, like everyone else, I have a bit of a fear for spiders. And the, but the ones that kind of fear me the most and that I ironically watch a lot of YouTube videos on are these uh, trapdoor spiders. And just kind of how they're very sneaky and they're, they're very kind of creepy and stuff. And I've seen like these outdoorsman people that, you know, stick sticks down and these big giant tarantula fanged beasts emerge from their little holes and hovels and it's just kind of creepy because you know as you're walking around you don't really see these little trap doors and it's always just kind of a fear of mine that you'll step next to one and they'll come out and just sink their fangs into your shoe or something like that and obviously this is getting a little extreme in the way of fears but I've always just kind of had a a bit of a aversion to these these trapdoor species of spiders just obviously due to their size and then the fact that they're very stealthy killers and so um, I, that's what kind of gave me the idea to do these kind of these trapdoor spider people and so but I also kind of wanted to do some aspects of them and so like I gave him kind of like this utility belt across his chest that um, I feel you know would be used similar to like what a ninja has you know he's got like kind of these different things on like a belt you know he's got to obviously have a place for he him to throw out his ninja stars or blow poison blow darts or or to store it like the little climbing things that they go on their hands to help them scale high walls or ropes or grappling hooks or you know just kind of the things very batman-esque kind of a thing and so i gave him this little uh satchel or strap across his chest as well to kind of coincide with that idea that um, these uh, these spider people you know are very stealthy killers and they utilize some of these tools and things in their little pouches and bags to help capture prey or enemies or whatever they deem to catch and so and then I also gave them like just these spears that they use uh, in an effort to these poison tipped spears that are made out of bones or any number of things that they find in the wild. So, but we'll obviously get a little more into their backstory and powers and abilities. But the other thing, too, is I, I really didn't uh, enjoy this character because I also had to draw more of a background for these for this particular doodle. Usually, I just do kind of a very ambiguous, cloudy, misty background that kind of just helps pop the initial doodle but this one I actually had to design out a background due to the fact that he's in a little trapdoor thing there so but yeah so this was character uh, or doodle number 18 and the prompt for this day was trap so but let's get into the backstory and powers and abilities so this particular character isn't like a single villain or hero and there are going to be villains but they're uh, more of a kind of like a, a species or a clan of these humans uh, that are half spider, half human kind of a thing. And I've called them long legs. So like their full name is like the long legs clan. So 
Well, let's get into the backstory. So, legend states that of the four men who left their position as wise men, so this is the same wise men discussed in the Spellcaster video, so if you want a little more background, go back and watch that video. So, one of them sought a path that was deemed forbidden. Like all men who nurture a bit of pride, this one wise man sought an animal transformation he thought he could overcome. The other three wise men feared for his soul, but helped him through the transformation, hoping that if he was successful, they could all have the upper hand on evil. But they were wrong, and had to drive their once good friend from the land. History gets sparse on what happens next to this man, but many rumors say that he traveled west and was eventually tutored by a great evil cult in the Middle East. So this is once again hinting at the great evil cult that like the Holy Mage had to fight against. So if you want a little more backstory on that, uh, watch the Holy Mage video. So, But mastering this greater evil, he started a cult of men who turned themselves into spiders that then plagued travel and trade routes. Spellcaster and the Holy Mage have done battle with this cult in an effort to find the fourth wise man who turned evil. So, once again, if you want a little more backstory on their backstory, go back and watch the videos on Spellcaster and the Holy Mage. So, let's get into the powers and abilities. So, the cult of men don't have much in the way of great power like their master, but they have many skills that make them dangerous to travelers who are unprepared. The Longleg clan have developed senses that give them the upper hand in stealth and trapping. They also have many arms, which make them very proficient in close and ranged combat. And if their looks alone don't fear you, they ha also have the ability to fire strong web-like substance from their mouths that can trap and ensnare you for later feasting. So there is today's doodle, long legs, and the prompt was trapped for day number 18. So we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again.